I come myself from a big state from the UK and I find small state studies more and more fascinating. And it's not because small states are all the same. They are very different. Some of them adapt very well to their situation. Some of them make terrible mistakes and then they really suffer because they are so small. And I think you can see every problem of the present world system reflected in these states. And you can look at how do they make their decisions? What are the good and bad ways to deal with their particular situation? And I think we can all learn lessons from that. We at the University of Iceland have been working on small states for 20 years. We offer a graduate program in small state studies with a special focus on small states in Europe. We define small states according to four traditional variables number of inhabitants, size of territory and gross domestic product, and military capacity. And for example, uh, we define all the Nordic states as small states. And if you look at member states of the European Union, 22 states out of 28 can be regarded as small states. What I really like about these studies is uh, how interactive the lectures are, and as well, uh, the level of academic insight coupled with the, the, um, the, the assessment tools that we are given to look into small states' behaviour, opportunities and challenges. What I like most about um, the small state studies is its diversity. For me, some of the most important things I've learned so far are about the European institutions. Um, and our professors are from different parts of the world, from different countries, so they bring a great wealth of knowledge both from inside and outside the European Union. This program gives you a unique opportunity to move to one of European smallest states and study the strengths and weaknesses of a small community. I run my courses in the program as a seminar and I require students to take an active uh, part in discussions uh, in the classroom. And this is what I love most with the program, to have students from all over the world uh, participating actively in discussions. Uh, states that are small can also be quite useful in the global system because they tend to see problems very early, that they feel it even if there is a small change in the situation, and they can often be flexible, they can find a new innovative response because they're light on their feet, so to say, they can move quickly. And sometimes they actually have ideas for the good of mankind. They can put forward strong moral ideas about peacekeeping or protecting the environment, women's rights, human rights. Uh, and people might listen to them because they are, so to speak, innocent. Uh, these are not big powerful countries that can hurt other countries. If they come with a good idea, they don't have any bad motives and people may listen to them. Uh, small states can be quite important in institutions, I mean regional institutions like NATO or the EU or the ones that exist elsewhere in the world, because they know they need the institutions to support them. When they sit at the table, their voices are heard in a way that they would not be if they were just in a kind of jungle in the old-fashioned international system. So they are often very loyal and they come forward with good, unselfish ideas to make the institutions stronger. Small states around the globe face inbuilt structural weaknesses and we need to study how they can overcome their vulnerability and become active internationally. What really surprised me about this program was uh, how important it is in understanding the dynamics of Europe and the international institutions that we have in the world today and also how rich the, this field of study is even compared to what I initially thought it would be. We are a university in a small country and yet we have managed to rise to the level of 270 among the best universities in the world, which may be surprising, but it's because we have chosen subjects we know something about. Iceland knows about being small. Iceland has a strong debate 
about how to be small in the world. Is it good to be in NATO for that? Is it good to be in the EU for that? You find all these kind of arguments very alive in Iceland. If students come and study small states in Iceland, they not only are in a place that knows the issue, but where these issues are part of everyday politics. And if you want to understand political science, I think that's a very exciting environment to be in. I can definitely uh, recommend this to my friends and to other students. It is a great, great compliment to any politically interested student and it's highly important and a relevant study for understanding uh, the Europe of today and the future as well. Yeah, the, the, the staff here were incredibly welcoming from the application process through to the first class, through to an open door policy in the office. You can stop by and ask any questions about any of the course content. You can come by and challenge them on a paper that they've written. But I think from day one, when I first submitted my application, um, the staff really made you feel welcome and made you feel like they wanted you to be part of the community at the University of Iceland. I would totally recommend it to my friends because um, the whole environment is very, very nice and House Coley has very great facilities for learning, um, the teachers are very nice, um, the courses are very well structured and uh, very well prepared and um, you just get together with students from all kinds of nationalities and uh, you learn together and that's it's great for exchange and the classes are not so big so you really get, um, you really get incorporated and you really get involved in, uh, in the studies and that just gives you a great great opportunity of learning, I think.